attorney, Edmund Jordan, the attorney for Alton Sterling, who was killed earlier this week. And we're going to have a brief conversation. We want to get the latest on what's going on on the ground in Baton Rouge. And we will see how we can assist all the way from around the country. We're from San Diego. Attorney, thank you for joining us. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Can, can everyone hear Attorney Evan Jordan? Yes. Everyone say hello to Attorney Evan Jordan. Hello. All the way from San Diego. Attorney, you are live on KTAV.TV and live at the Saturday Action Rally in the National Action Network, San Diego. Thank you for joining us, Attorney. No problem. I appreciate you. We uh, first want to begin by asking you, Attorney Jordan, what are your thoughts on what is going on in Baton Rouge and all over the country uh, with police brutality and attack on police? process with Alton Sterling. What can we do from San Diego? What can we do all over the country to assist you in this process? No problem. Uh, I would certainly uh, love the protest and have nothing uh, to say against that. But what I'll say is this. We need to be promoting peaceful protests, non-violent protests, because I can tell you right now one of the most uh, damaging things that uh, has happened is the incident in Dallas because it's, kind of, it's changed the narrative and it's put everybody on high number yeah. and it just made a real tense situation. So if we have more growth of it breaking out throughout the country, what it's going to do is going to give police officers an excuse to use excessive force and then public sentiment of need is going to be with them because folks are going to see police officers as being the victims when really right now they are the aggressors. Yeah. And I'm going to plan on dealing with that in my keynote. Uh, attorney, before we go, what are the next steps there in Baton Rouge and all over the country to properly and peacefully dealing dealing with uh, what happened out to Sterling and calling for justice for Alton Sterling, obviously justice for Philando Castile, 
But what is the next steps for Alton Sterling? When is the funeral? Is there a funeral scheduled yet? The funeral has not been scheduled yet. Um, we're working on that. The family is working on that today, actually. So hopefully by the, uh, by the end of the day, or at least by the end of the weekend, we'll have a date certain that we're going to, to let everyone know throughout the country. Um, where, you know, where we are with that. So, um, hopefully we can get that done in the next, next two days. But I can tell you with, with all the events going on, and it's, it's just been a fine time for them. Yeah. Uh, but they're all working on Well, attorney, thank you for joining us here at the Saturday Action Rally live from San Diego on KTAV.TV. And I will begin uh, by saying that I hope that as you get the date to us, and I know that you'll get a hold of me, I will be joining you in Baton Rouge uh, there uh, for the funeral services out to Sterling. And we want to stand behind uh, out to Sterling and you as well as the attorney. Um, whatever we can do, whether it's you guys have a GoFundMe account up or anything financially that we can do or anything that, that we can do. I'll send that information on to you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Attorney for Alton Sterling, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Jordan, the attorney for Alton Sterling. And let me say this that we need to bind together all over this country to deal with these issues. And that's why a national action network is important. Because when Alton, when immediately when this happened, Sterling's family called National Action Network headquarters. And Reverend Sharpton has been in contact with the families. And immediately, I told Rev, I said, we want to join you all the way from San Diego and make sure that this movement goes national. And that is what the beginning of today is. That's why I had Edmund call in, because Edmund Jordan and I are working together. We're going to build a partnership around this country to make sure and call for the federal independent investigation of Alton Sterling's death and Philando Castile. So, at this time, another case that we've been dealing with locally is the Robert Branch case. Police brutality is happening right here in San Diego. Shelly Zimmerman says we have America's finest police force. I will concur to challenge that because we so often use the beach and the palm trees here saying that this is America's finest city. I told them back there, I said this can sometimes be America's lion city and we will deal with the issues in this city all the way in this country. Robert Branch, who was choked by an unidentified and off-duty sheriff right here in San Diego, we've been fighting his case. And we are going all the way to the trial date, October 4th. At this time, I want to welcome the attorney, Mark Conan, who is going to speak and show us the video, and Robert Branch and his mother, Diane, who joined me here today at our Saturday Action Rally, to talk about the latest and what exactly the Branch family wants. Attorney Mark Conan.